guys, Zane here, aka Hey It's Zaners, and today I'm doing commenting on comments. I'm commenting on more of your comments, your tweets, your comments on YouTube. So let's do this thing. Oh my god, Lucky Duck, have fun, fanboy a little harder for Kia and Sunky for me. Have an amazing time seeing Jonky and Dongwoo on the same day. So lucky, Zane. Cosplay as Key. Oh my fucking god. Lucky. Oh my god, I'm going to the concert too. You should do a meetup. So I'm going to be at the free K-pop concert at the Coliseum this Saturday. So if you want to catch me live there, I will be there. I'm either going to be with Jamie, my K-pop homegirl, but if she can't come down from Mammoth for Saturday, then I'm going to be there with Brenda, my homegirl, my biggest fan. She likes Shiny, and she really likes the song Before the Dawn by Infinite. So, I mean, I had two tickets, so I was like, I need to go with someone, because I don't drive, so... I could take the Metro, but I need, like, another fabulous person with me, so catch me there. I know what I'm wearing, actually. I thought about cosplaying as Key, but I feel like a lot of people are going to do that, and I'd rather just stand out on my own. So, just look out for the guy in gold platform shoes, and, like black leather looking pants and that'll be me. Did you hear about Hyo hitting her boyfriend Jay Kim who reported her to the police? Boss bitch! I don't know if that makes her a boss bitch. Like if guys can't hit girls, girls shouldn't be able to hit guys. Like there shouldn't be a double standard. Like I don't like when girls like will take advantage of the fact that guys aren't supposed to hit girls and just like beat up their boot. I will never hit a girl but best believe, best believe if a bitch wants to hit me, I have no problem pushing her the farthest of farthest back. I don't care if she falls onto the floor, I'm just pushing this bitch the fuck back and then turning around and walking away before I fucking knock this bitch out because I'm not going to jail for that. I'm not laying my hands on a woman like that. I can push your ass back if you coming at me. That's all I'm gonna do. Love the fact that you're so honest. Keep it up. Honesty is like the best medicine. Besides like turning up and sex. Are you going to see Shiny at the free concert this Saturday? I am! I am! I'm so fucking excited. I haven't seen Shiny in like since... <sighs> I haven't seen Shiny since SM Town 2010. Oh my god, it's been like four years. <gasps> and I've never seen Infinite. <gasps> I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I I'm just telling you now, I'm about to be like in platform, so if I'm in front of you, I apologize now because I, you got me fucked up if you think that I'm moving. Because if I'm the chance to see John Key, ooh, you got me fucked up. I ain't moving for no one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lesbians in K-pop, I'd say Amber and CL. Amber, I can definitely see. You know, CL, I never thought of her, uh, like, that never, like, crossed my mind, but I'm not even gonna lie. If CL was, like, a lesbian, like, if she came out as a lesbian, I feel like... As much as that might like hurt her career, I feel like that's just gonna make her stronger as an artist because she's always about like being a bad bitch, you know, quality for women. She's all about that. So I think that'd be so dope if she was a lesbian because then she'd be like, I don't even need no man to complete me. Like, I don't need a man to make me happy. So I think that'd be super dope if she was a lesbian. Like, I would not be surprised. Her and G Dragon would be so. I just want. I don't want it to be G Dragon. I want it to be someone that's like like G-Dragon, but more of like a thug. Like G-Dragon, I don't see G-Dragon as like complete masculinity, even though he is pretty mask. I really want to go to EDC, but it's expensive as fuck. Why the fuck you think I haven't posted many hauls this year? I have been spending all my money on EDC. I still gotta get my, the last thing I gotta get is my plane ticket, which I'm getting this month. God, the tickets were like over $300. The hotel was taken care of. That's fucking expensive. The shuttle pass was like $100. And I'll be in the plane ticket, but a round trip ticket from California to Las Vegas. It's an hour flight. You spend more time, like, getting ready to lift off and land. You spend more time doing that than actually in the air flying. It's only like $78 to fly there and back. So, best believe I'm about to be turned up on that airplane going to Vegas. What am I going to wear? Do you like anime? I do like anime. I love anime. I... I haven't really been watching that much anime, to be quite honest. I've been meaning to check out Attack on Titan for, like, the past year. It just hasn't happened. But I love anime so much. It's so good. Happy belated birthday, love. 
Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you. You remind me of John Yun Sup so much. I know who you're talking about. I hope I don't think you mean appearance wise because we don't really look anything alike. You probably maybe mean like personality wise. I don't know much about him. I just know what he looks like. So maybe I am similar to him. But I'm not positive what you mean by that comment. Woo! You answered my question. Yes, party life here is epic, especially the raves. I'm fully aware of how amazing the raves are in the UK. I want to experience them so bad. So bad. I want to turn up in the UK so bad. Ugh. Oh. Hey Zane, I wanted to tell you happy belated birthday. I like your videos so much. I like how you don't only fanboy in your reactions, but you actually pay attention to what you're watching. Like, when people, people like always say this, and that always like throws me off, because what else would people be doing in reaction videos besides watching the video? I hate people who just like fanboy and fangirl so much that they're not even paying attention to the video. It's like, these idols and these companies spend all this time and money on this music video for their fans, and all you care about is how the members look. I mean, yeah, that's important, like I do, give a point for if the members look good, but that's only one point out of five. I'm judging the song, the music video, the plot, the choreography, the wardrobe, like I'm judging everything. And I like watching to see if there is a plot. So like why wouldn't people do that? I don't understand, like it's, it's, it's just common sense to me. But thank you. Happy belated birthday Zane, mine was on the 25th, trippy or what? It kind of scares me how much I look forward to seeing you and your friends party it up in LA. I wish Canada was this fun. Love you, Zane. Thank you. I love turning up in LA. Now that I'm 21, I can... It fucking sucks because I'm the first one to turn 21. So all the 21 shit I can do, I have to go by myself because none, none of my other friends in my immediate group are 21 yet. Like, turn down for age. Like, that's so stupid. But Canada? I'm sure Canada's popping. I want to visit Canada. Like, that sounds... Bomb. Canada, I feel like would be a fun time. Turn up. Just go out, turn up, be safe, and enjoy it. I'm an Aries, March 22nd, and I'm 22 years old. Teal must be an Aries thing because I love that color and I love shiny. Us Aries that love teal and shiny gotta stick together because we are our own unique subunit. We are our own unique subunit. We're like I don't know. I thought I was trying to think of a clever like subunit for us, but it just didn't happen. That's all the comments I'm commenting on today. Um, keep commenting, keep tweeting. I love it all so much, so much. I read everything, even if I don't reply to everything. I do read everything. You know, time is a little hectic, so I try my best to do what I can with what I got. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next week with more commenting on comments. I'm Zane, aka Hey Zaners. I make videos Monday through Thursday, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. There's a lot going on. I kissed someone. I got booze here. I'm drunk. It's my 21st birthday. Turn up.